Every iPhone user needs to know five things. How to use the phone, how to text, how to check email, how to take pictures, and how to surf the web. If you master these five things, you'll discover that using your iPhone is a pleasure, not a chore. Today I'm going to give you five tips on how to surf the web. Well, actually, how to use Safari, the app you use to surf the web. Let's get started. If this is your first time here, welcome. If not, thanks for checking in again. My name is Rich Bolin, and lately I've been building an iPhone Tips for Seniors series. This is the 10th video in the series, and it's all about surfing the web using Safari. If you'd like to check out the other videos, I've included links in the description below. And if you do check those out, you'll find they're easy to understand videos, packed with great tips on how to get the most out of your iPhone without going nuts. If you do find my videos helpful, please consider subscribing. And to all of you who have subscribed and helped me build this channel, thank you. Okay, today it's all about Safari and surfing the web. First things first, just remember, surfing the web isn't hard. So don't get intimidated. And to help you do this, here are the five tips I'm gonna to cover today. How to set up the Safari app in settings, how to view and edit your home page how to add favorites to your home page, which is a really cool little feature, how to search using Google, which you've heard everybody talk about, and how to navigate Safari. All right, let's roll. Okay, the first thing I wanna to talk to you about is um, setting up Safari in the Settings app. This little icon with a gear on it is the Settings app, and that's the first place to start. So we'll tap that and we'll go into settings and we'll just scroll down until we get to Safari right here. Let me just tap on Safari. So in here you can sort of set up the base way that Safari works on your iPhone. First of all, you can choose your search engine. So if you don't know what that means, that's just the um, tool you use to search the web. And if you tap on that, you've got a few choices here, Google, Yahoo, Bing, DuckDuckGo, and uh, Ecosia. I choose Google. I think it's just the most thorough. DuckDuckGo is certainly the most private oriented. Um, if you wanted to use that, you can choose that. Um, but I choose Google, and you can choose whoever you like there. Um, I also block pop-ups. What that means is sometimes you're surfing a web and all of a sudden something will just pop up on your screen and get in the way of what you're watching and I don't like that so I turn that on I block pop-ups um, I'm using iOS 15 which is the most recent operating system and I you can choose a tab bar at the bottom or a single tab bar at the top I choose the single tab bar at the top and you'll see in a minute more about what that means but it's just an easy way it's just something I'm familiar with uh, and how to use Safari. Um, if you scroll on down, the one other thing I'd suggest you do is you can prevent cross-site tracking. What that means is that your iPhone will stop creepy people from checking in on you and following you around the web. And I just don't like that, so I keep uh, cross-site tracking on I, to, to prevent cross-site tracking. So I think that's the best way to do it. Um, so that's all I do for my settings. You can certainly go through each one of those and play with them. There's a whole lot of them, but I don't want to get this so complicated in this video that you get confused. And ultimately, this is about um, surfing the web, so that's the next thing we're going to do. So once you've got things set up and setting, the next thing you do is actually go to Safari. And when you open Safari, you're going to come to your home page. This is your home page. Now, if you've visited a website, you may, and you close out Safari and you come back, you may still be on that website. But if you close all of your open windows, which I'll show you how to do in just a minute, you'll land here. And so by default, um, you have four favorites that are up here, Yahoo, Google, Bing, and Apple. I don't use Yahoo, and so you can just long press on that and click delete and it takes it away. I don't use Bing, so you can long press on that, go down and hit delete. If you wanna edit this, you can just tap edit and then you can change the background. 
if you want, you can change it, say, to blue, and you can go, and then as you see, the background changes to whatever you want it to be. Um, if you just don't want a background image, Im image at all, you can just turn that off and you'll go back to what it looks like there. But I happen to like the blue, so I'm gonna leave it on blue. You can put different icons on here for websites that you visit. You can add to your favorites. Go to Google, and here you can type in anything you want. You can put your cursor up in there and begin typing. For purposes of today, I'm gonna to just look at Tropical Storm Sam, and I'm going to click on the Weather Channel, and now this may be something that I want to look at regularly, the Weather Channel. So all you do is go down to the little box with the arrow coming out of it, and you tap on it, and you click Add to Favorites, and you click Save. Now, to get back to your home screen or your favorites, you tap on the two little boxes right here, or tap and hold, um, and you can click on Close This Tab, and that takes you back to your home screen. And now you can see that the Weather Channel has been added, and rather than searching for the Weather Channel, you can just tap on the Weather Channel. Now, that's how you add favorites, and a lot of people will put a whole bunch of different favorites in here. Let's talk about search using Google. So that's your main search engine. So when someone says, hey, why don't you um, look up the football scores for this weekend? You can tap on Google. You can go in and you can type NCAA football scores. And then hit the blue search and now all the scores will come up right here. And if you, you'll see a whole bunch of different links. Each one of these sections is a link that you can click on and read more about it. Um, I usually click on the NCAA college football scores, and that takes me there to week four, and then you can go through each one. And searching on Google is really simple. So let's say that you just closed it out like that. And now you want to go back and look for something else. Well, you open it back up, and there you are at the NCAA football scores. That's not where you want to be. You want to search for taco recipes. Well, it's easy. Up here at the top is the search bar. So all you have to do is put your cursor up in there and type taco recipes and hit go. And I misspelled that but Google knew what I was looking for, and now you've got taco recipes. So that's how you search using Google. It's all about putting your cursor up here in this little section. You can delete it by hitting the back key and search for anything that you want to search for. Now, navigating around um, Safari can get a little bit, I won't say tricky, but you just have to get the hang of it. So when you're here, if you want to get back to your home screen, again, you can tap this and then you can swipe away and you're back to your home screen. Okay, let's open up the weather channel. And let's say you just want to leave that up, but you want to search for something else. Well, how you do that is you tap the little bar here, hit the plus, and now you've got a new Google window that you can search in and you can type in anything you want to search, like YouTube. Of course, I'm misspelling that, but it knows what I'm looking for. And now you're in YouTube, and if you want to search in YouTube, you can search for Rich Bolin, and there I am. And then, if you want to save my videos as a favorite on your home screen, again, you hit the little box with the arrow in it and click on Add to Favorites. Click on Save. And now you can tap on that, swipe everything away, it takes you back to your home screen, and here is a link to my YouTube videos. It's that simple. 
So it'll take you a little bit of time to play around getting the navigation uh, of Safari down. It's, it's, I don't want to say that it's hard because it's not, but the more you play with it, the more comfortable you get. So navigating Safari is not really all that hard. It just takes a little bit of practice. So there you go, five easy tips on how to surf the web using Safari. If you didn't quite catch everything I said, just rewatch the video. You'll get the hang of it sooner than you realize. And you'll be amazed at all the things you can learn on the web. And you can do it all with the iPhone that's in your hand. Well, that's a wrap on this one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.